Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Oregon Springs 17. Woohoo! Your host with me. Not the most. Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller. I can't remember what episode this is folks but look at this. Look like it's going to be somewhat of a gorgeous day. Let's check our thing here. It's sunny 12 o'clock in the evening. $32,000. Uh, Mrs. got her clothes out again. But anyway, folks, we got a, we got this ball rolling here. All right. Somehow or another, I got two right here and two right here missing. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. But anyway, let's go over here to the farm shop real quick. We got a lot of stuff to do. Lots of stuff to do. Um, got this loaded with water, along with wheat, got 50,000 liters of wheat, it's going to go over to the chickens, uh, where's my, oh yeah, we gotta get this tractor right here first, uh, don't think we're going to need the bell spike for the back, because all the bells are up, got them all, uh, Put where they need to be and I forgot wait 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 I gotta say something how y'all doing folks y'all doing all right I hope you are me being rude this, this not being rude I just got a lot of stuff to do folks a lot of stuff to do we're gonna get this tractor and that tractor I'm gonna follow me let's see fuel and everything's okay We're going to go up to the uh, chickens real fast and get them fed, and then we're going to go harvest some beans. So, uh, sit back, relax, and I hope y'all enjoy the show. Me running all over the road. Hey, that kind of rhymed in a way. Am I far enough back? Nope. I go up a little further. Still unable? I'm on now. There we go. I'm going to set it about 30 because we got a long trailer there. Getting our beautiful blue Ford pickup. Oh, Ford's okay. I used to have one, but I got a Chevy now. I got a big boy strip. Alright, let's get this rolling. Hope everybody follows okay. I've been doing some missions and
This field here to be ready to harvest next. That's the only field that you can do missions on, folks. And look at me driving on the wrong side of the road. Everybody's gonna be like, "What? What? Where is it where they drive on the opposite side of the road? Is it Australia, European, or somewhere over there?" I'm not good with stuff like that, folks. Come on, little bit. Hope you're coming straight. Don't lose none of that wheat. Better take the right road, didn't I? But yeah, we're going to feed the chickens. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking about leaving the straw bells outside and stuff. We don't have uh, yeah, season on here yet. At least I don't think I do. No, no we don't have it. Alright, 
we're going to have to give them some straw. So I'm going to park right here in front of a... Uh, who lives there? I think Jason lives there. J-Boo. Alright, shoot the motor off. Control F to kill the follow me. He's about in the right spot, so shift F and it kills the back one. Okay. I gotta be careful because there's a selling point right there, too. We're not worried about getting all of these off right now. Just need to feed the chickens. We'll worry about putting them away later. All right. Uh, I thought J Boo opened the fence for me, but I guess he's not. Whoa. Okay. All right. Hope we don't run over no chickens. First, before I feed them, just to show you what they need. The straws for uh, blit, bread and bread. Mm. Yeah. Raising chickens. They need more straw. They need uh, water and cere uh, wheat, barley, and corn. I don't know why I'm saying cereal. But I'm going to go from laying eggs to raising chickens. That way we can uh, sell them. All right, Rooster, get out of the way. But there's a straw point here somewhere. Just got to find it. Oh, that camera view about to get me. Oh, look at him going under the wheel. Come on. There you go. Hmm. Oh. They're going under the wheel again. Maybe if I put it towards the front. Alright, well, I know this ain't realistic, but. I just done this like this last time, and it went uh, straight in. Whoa. Yeah. It's one of those things. Come on now, Bill. Oh, okay. I'm not going to fight with this thing. Because it's wanting to do that. Well, it's coming from this way over here, and it just went right in. Ah, wrong button. Oh, well. Stay right there.
It's there for later. We got we gotta get some feed up in there. Shut that knob. I really don't want to undo the trailers, but I know they ain't gonna take all this feed. All this little tractor power all I can do is pull it. Whoa. See it trying to spin? Let's see if I can hit the water. Oh. There we go. Look like I might need some more water too. Get a water trailer. See if I can get the. I need to get the back trailer first. Watch out, chicken. All right. Okay, feed's good. I'm gonna change this to that right there. We're gonna breed some chickens. So it didn't take all the feed, so we're going to save, whoa, oh my god, I drove right through that hole. Hope I can make it out. Um, we'll probably use that small tank right there to put this grain in later. Oh, they both fit under here. Well, that should do it about right there. Right, I thought I saw a water hose somewhere over in there. Oh, yeah, right there. That would figure. Y'all see it right there? I'll zoom in. There's a water hydrant there. I guess it's just where it looks. Well, sugar foot. All right. We're going to leave this trailer and stuff here. We got to go do some farming, folks. Whoa. There we go. And as you say, let's take one more quick look. Strong's about halfway. We need some more water. Uh, next chicken in such and such hours. So I have to fast forward, but we'll we'll come back and check out before the episode's over with. Oh, look at that horsey! Too bad we couldn't ride him. They are, they do, well, they already came out where you can ride them, so, just not on this map yet. I know y'all probably are hot for FS-19, I know I am. Alright, whoop, got the truck out in the road. I'm just gonna check the job board here. As you can see, I got maybe one more job to do. I uh, have him maxed out, but we can still do missions here. And folks, whatever you do, don't buy a field five. Because once you buy, buy that, you won't have no more income on missions. None of the fields will let you do missions, just that. So make sure you keep that in mind. Oh, I hate that little lag out there. Oh, I'll cut the curve. All 
All right, we're going to pull in here. Just going to park the truck right here out of the way. Oop, shut it off. Let's walk over here to this combine. Let's see, the header's already dropped. All right. We're going to hook up to a grain head over here. We're going to get these two combines going down the road. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Right, we're just going to leave it running for a second, let it warm up good. Start this one up, put the head up. Alright, we ain't going to worry about filling them up right now with fuel. All the oil and everything else has been checked, so all that's good. Uh, we are going to do a follow me. Uh, semi trucks already down there so we don't have to worry about that and the auger wagon chaser bin whatever you want to call it oh I didn't knock down the sign uh, we won't have to go get it it's at the shop really gotta lower the head down we gotta cut that tree I bet the oven's going to have the same problem. Maybe not. It's shorter header. Oh. Right that sign was invisible. Yeah. Not invisible, but indestructible. Uh, we got the Road Grader 1300 over there. We had to... Uh, trade in the other one so that's a brand new one and uh, we got this field completely fertilized and plowed and what's this up here what we got going on here whose combine is that yes folks I've leased another combine alright let's get this and set up real quick we, uh, help her uh, we're going to show that and wait during unload. Uh, Got to hop out for a second. Okay, so he's ready to go. Let's check out this combine real quick. We got a 9610 John Deere Maximal Maximizer. Maximizer, ever how you pronounce that? Uh, we got the 640D head on it, which is a little large, but they said it would handle it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get him started. As we already got it set up, we will uh, get that little strip right there. So we're gonna go ahead and let it do its do. What a J boo! And we we gotta take this combine off. Follow me real quick. And we gotta do the same thing. We gotta unfold. I forgot to unfold that in there. Um, we got on, and we want that on also. Uh, wait there and unload. Okay. Gotta hop out for a second. Alright, it's on. Um, gotta go unfold this one real quick. Oh! Unfold, not drop header. Okay. Let's do its thing. Uh oh, we got two J-Boos in the house. That's not good. 
I wanna... Colin Julian, there we go. What's going on, brother? Glad to see you helping us today. Let this guy get going a little bit. And we got Jamie. All right, Jamie. Now, folks, y'all probably fixing the to actually hurt me, but I did at least one more other thing. Uh, let's see here. And there she is. We traded our other buggy in for this other Brent. The 1594 Brent, it does not have the option for tracks. And uh, we went in this uh, 8370 RT track tractor. Oh, listen that sound. Oh, listen that sound. We gotta get our flashers and stuff on. So we fix and go down the road. And uh, I did hit a course play route already stored to farm um, drive course oh oh stop driver come on now get going around here and see what it does there we go stop driver at the last point he should be all right. And uh, let's get over to our. Uh, yeah, I guess we can drive this on down there. But what happened with the Udden? I got a hold of one where it's supposed to be a wider boom, and it was humongous boom. Turn my beacons on here. Uh, the the boom part was unreal on it. So uh, and there's our AR with this. But the boom would be almost as wide as the whole field. So I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Wow, these combines are really going. Might have to stop Jamie. She's getting pretty close to calling there. But this boom is more realistic. And this has the option. These are the narrow tires. And it also has the option for rotation tires. Okay, they're doing pretty good. Tell you what. I don't know if I can get down there fast enough. Run out through these crops real quick. Right there, folks. Screenshot that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna get my. There we go. We're gonna put that up there at the top so we can see. Uh, John Deere is 42, Massey's 38, and Axle Flow is 49. So, as soon as. Uh... Oh, this guy's here. Okay. We're gonna stop driver and continue driving. This uh, track tractor is kind of loud. Hope I ain't too loud on y'all. Uh, doing 32 mile an hour. Put my beacons back on. Probably should have went that way. Well, it seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, we're 
probably would just uh, lease this for temporary and uh, see how everything goes. And we might just end up buying it. Uh, depend on what the demand is on these beans. But I, I kind of like it myself. Runs pretty smooth. Just got to get used to the turning on it. Hey folks, uh, about my videos, I know they've been kind of long here lately. I don't expect you to watch all of them. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to tease you there. I'm going to go up here to this John here. Even though the actual flow is 61%. Ooh, that was close to the hitter. Now you should stop. There we go. Ooh, right up next to that wheel. I don't like that. But this header is kind of large for this timeline. It should be about where the wheels are at. Maybe somewhere on the back. I'll let him get out of the way. Back up here a little bit. Oh, look there. I'm timed at this spot right. Oh, well, I thought he was putting it out because he was full. He was putting it out because I wasn't here. So this is about the right length. Put some up on front. That's about the right length of a header right there. That's one reason why I want them to stop too, because it's so close. Oh. Oh. Massey. Here's another. That's Jamie. Jamie, you cut now. I'll be close here. Alright, get that pipe out. You're too close. Ah, whoa. Gotta stop you for a little bit. That's unrealistic, but. Gotta get a little space in between. Uh, Colin. Woo! I thought Colin's going back into it. Yeah, I got to fix that end down here. I forgot about that. I need to bring a roller down here and roll across. It's, it needs to be a little bit more turnaround room. All right, we almost got this thing halfway full. All right, Jamie, go ahead. That should give y'all enough room, hopefully. I like it because the wheels turn on the green cart to help. Now, I don't think I leased the biggest one. I don't think. As she goes across, it feels smooth. But usually the track tractors are usually smooth in the fields just when you get up on the highway. That cat challenger I drove, oh my god. But they don't go this fast across the field. Probably about 15, 18 mile an hour. Alright, we're going to get that auger out. Let's see, we're about 46% full. And I'm coming in on the wrong side. That'll be alright. I don't see no traffic. Got my flashers on anyway, so. Alright, I'm gonna pull on up. I always like to put the weight on the front of the tractor. Oh, on the trailer. Let's see, we do have the option to just do that right there, okay. Nothing on this side. 
Okay. Alright, so about right right there. And we got clearance to unload, so All right, our guys and girl are coming on around <clears throat> coming on around the mountain there. J Boo in the lead. Colin and Julian behind and Jamie behind them. She's doing pretty good. Um, 30, 17, and 31. I think I'm just going to let them keep. I don't know. I might cut across. I have one on this side. Well, I don't know. I like keeping going together like that because it's easier to unload. I better raise my pipe back up. Don't want to hit that stack there. Fold it up. We're going to go down here and meet them. That's where they're at. They, uh,. Halfway, they should be able to make it out to the end. We'll catch them right here on this strip here before they get to the truck. Unloading that way. Get everything situated. Alright, I'm going to cut this off for a second. Oh, I forgot I'm up in there. Eh. Start up an 8R, 8400R. Uh, there is a bigger one, but uh, I think. Go ahead and get out in the field here. I was going to get one of those big tractors and swivels in the middle and we just don't have enough money for it right now. So uh, maybe next harvest or so. I'm just going to get over here out of the way. Alright, let's see. Here they come. And we're 50, 46, and 62. Let's unload that Massey first. I should be able to catch John Deere or uh, Jason before he gets to the end there. All right, Jamie, turn it on around. I'm going to catch you. This is where I wish I could control the settings from the tractor here. Uh, where I can fix it where they can dump on the go or, or stop or something. Whoa. Because she was up there pretty good, so I'm going to actually throw 72. Whoa. Well, hurry up. Alright. Let's go check, catch the case and then, uh, then John Deere. The back supply is about 76%. These two I probably could do on the go. But that John Deere, that header's just too big for it. Ten uh, percent, and time to go.
Now there is a course play where I can fix, but I don't know about doing three time bites. Oh, you're gonna do that to me. Okay, we can do that. Get turned around. Yeah, this and these, uh, oh, we're going to have a collision here. I can just feel it. Jamie's too close. I have her on, uh, oh, no, it's one. All right, I'm going to stop Jamie for a minute. Yeah, I don't have the, uh, John Deere on here. Just back out of the way real quick here. And I'm gonna go down here and catch J Boo here and I'm gonna put him under the combines. There we go. Now let's go back here and get Jamie to set back up real quick. This is a good combine, but we're going to use it till it runs out of fuel and trade it off and probably get that John Deere with a smaller header or another case. I don't know. Yep, I'll put it down in the comments which one y'all want, case or John Deere. Uh, oh, we got Jamie back driving again. All right, good. She stayed with us. All right, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and dump this. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in here. I want to see what this thing pulls this thing like, and when it's loaded, loaded. go down here on the end probably on the far far end uh, Massey's getting quite full already 37% uh, probably right here yeah there is a hill right here uh, mighty steep hill that's why I was having a hard time uh, alright uh, oops Shut that off. Let's go ahead and uh, get our boom set up and stuff. Because this time around, I want to spray before I plow. that wing up a little bit and just I don't want to snag anything. Like a fence post. I used to drive the John Deere two wheel drive version of the high boy. I don't know why it does that. Forgot I just got the multi multi dirt or multi soil direction or whatever it's called All right, and get the picture up there oh gotta go forward just a little the green line right here has to be facing that way for you to see the lines like that so I'm gonna overlap this a little bit hope that's right on We'll probably spray it through. See how this new one's going to do.
But I would love to get a job just doing this. And, uh, I used to mix the chemicals and stuff up pretty good, but I done forgot all that. So many ounces every 10 seconds or something like that. Times the number of nozzles you got. And then times the acres. Yeah, yeah, I, I forgot a lot of that stuff. My headphones hit the microphone. Got too close to my microphone. Hope I wasn't screaming at y'all. Oh my god, we're done 40 minutes in. Oh, where has the time gone? And I would leave my buggy in the way. Alright, folks, I, I'm gonna empty the combines one more time. Jamie blocked. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave it right there. Uh, shut the motor off. Oh, they done got too close. They done got too close. Uh, action flow, 73. Go ahead and unload Jamie manually. Give him time to get on down the road a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to keep him going in a circle. Um. I think I'm just going to pick back up from uh, where we're at on the next episode. Uh, finishing up the bean harvest. Uh, we got canola that's ready. Oh, we got Donna driving now. They switched out. But this time around, folks, when we get all the crops off, we're going to do Season Mod. That's right. We're going to do Season Mod. And in case some of y'all warning about the names and stuff, those are people that helps or support my channel and stuff and uh yeah we're about halfway on this i'm gonna catch other john deere up there and we'll probably end off here real quick about 45 minute video i know y'all don't like them but i need shorter ones but Y'all gonna watch what you're gonna watch anyway, so I might well, you know, record what I want, and y'all just watch what y'all want. Sound like a deal? I hope you watch it all the way through, but I know some of y'all will. All right, those ain't too far, too bad for it. But anyway, saying we got canola, corn, and barley across there. And we did pick up an extra field this time. Oh, let J Boo get turned around here. Hopefully he'll. He's got 73%, so hopefully he'll fill me up. For some reason, it just wants to load on the back. If I had a shorter header on it, that would be perfect. I might go with a McDon, or I think that's how you say it, McDon, grain header. Alright, we're 92, 93%. 
あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ And you got green or red. I got the green. Alright, so, uh, it seems to be pulling it pretty good on level ground. I do have more on the back than on the front. I don't know. That does kind of make things a little difficult. But, folks, uh, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, probably just going to let them work just a little bit longer and uh, we'll come back finish up the bean harvest and everything and uh, I'm out my own spot I wish I didn't have to hit R I just wish I could just pull up her and then start unloading uh, but yeah oh Hope it's going in the truck now on the ground. I wish they could do something about that on that. I might end up you whoa. How am I? There we go. I might end up using that for the thumbnail. Well, anyway, folks, I hope y'all had a great time watching, enjoyed it and stuff. I appreciate y'all and thank y'all very much. Love each and every one of y'all. Be sure and hit that like button before you leave. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Just smash that red button for more awesome videos. Hopefully they're awesome to y'all. They are to me. I love them. I love making them for y'all and stuff. Um, also, don't forget, if y'all feel generous, if you have a PayPal account, uh, the link is at the very bottom of the description with the other links, my Facebook, and a uh, couple of links down there. Um, so yeah, y'all have a, a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see y'all later.